All right, I am here with David Azizi from the Law Offices of David Azizi, and today we're going to discuss what it means if you get into a collision accident on a bus and you're a passenger. Let's say you're a passenger in the middle of the bus or the back of the bus, and you're not right behind the driver. You're you're not you know in one of those situations where you're in the very front of the bus. What are the duties of the bus driver? Who's at fault? Is it the other car that's at fault or the other you know 18 wheeler or whatever the case is? So David, when you're the passenger of the bus, what exactly are your rights and how does that process work? Well, when you're a passenger on the bus, you're automatically considered to be a negligent free passenger because obviously, like you said, you're either in the middle of the bus or the back of the bus or even in front of the bus. You're not somebody who's operating that vehicle. So if there's a collision or some kind of accident, you yourself had no fault or you know, involvement in this accident. And a lot of times I've had clients will call me and I'll say, I was involved in a bus accident, and I'll ask them, okay, well, what happened? And a lot of times they're saying to me, I don't know. I don't know what happened. Uh, some of the buses nowadays are equipped with cameras, so a lot of times they're recording everything that's going on both outside the bus and inside the bus. So a lot of times we're able to get a copy of the uh, video from the bus and be able to look and see as to what the reason or cause of the accident has been. I've had cases where other drivers have cut in front of the bus and caused a collision. I've had other cases where the bus driver is not safe, maintaining a safe, safe distance between itself and another vehicle and a collision occurs. I've had bus drivers run a red light and collide with another vehicle and then careen off and smash into a building and cause more injuries to the occupant of the bus. What I suggest in those kind of situations is contact a lawyer uh, such as myself and we'd be able to go ahead and get the police report and do all the investigation as necessary to establish as to who is at fault. A lot of times I've noticed that people will say, like I had a client where it says, well everybody was saying the car is at fault, but when we were able to get a copy of the video, we were able to determine that the bus driver was not maintaining a safe distance between himself and the vehicle ahead of him and a car made a lane change within sufficient time, the bus driver did not stop in time where he had the opportunity to stop. He just waited to the last minute thinking the car is going to speed up and continue going, but the car didn't and there was a collision and a lot of people got injured. So what I recommend is contact a lawyer such as myself. We're be more than happy to help you and figure out everything in terms of liability for you. Absolutely, and if you would like to contact the law offices of David Azizi, you will find the phone number both above in the YouTube video as well as below, and thank you for your time, David. Thank you.